Andy's image. Oh my god, she's so hot. The over-the-shoulder look, I think this is unironically the hottest character in the entire game. I don't think there's a character that's hotter than her. There's just no way. There just isn't. Is there any other character that could be as hot as her? Subscribe, please! Hello, YouTube! Today, I know it's a bit late, I know Natlan is out, everybody is very excited about it, everybody's playing it. I am playing on twitch.tv forward slash kittycathy. Do come and check out the live stream. And even though I'm late, it's better late than never. And we are gonna look at the gym marketing that happened for Shilonen. So, she's the Ardent Flame Forge the Soul, Nanat's Kyan Smith. So, Jilanen's skill with the Forge is renowned throughout Natlan. Many come far from far and wide, like the Pokemon Masters, uh, to pay homage to her superb skill. Some hope to commission her to forge them weapons, while others only seek to see the visage of these great smiths, such that they might have information of great interest to talk about. But Jilanen couldn't care less about what all her customers are thinking. No matter what kind of ridiculous fancy titles others give her, before all the honors and accolades, she is first and foremost an artisan. All she needs to do is refine the ore and surely and steadfastly hammer it into the final shape one blow at a time, in accordance with the customer's requirements. Reputation will not strengthen the blows of her hammer upon the anvil, nor will slender call the coals of her furnace. However, when the customer steps into her workshop, it is not the heat of the furnace that welcomes them, but rather a long form filled with blanks needing to be filled in. I'm happy to take the commission, but first, we need to iron out the details. Effective communication means efficient work. Come on, let's talk about just what you want. Man. There is something lately with, like, blacksmiths being women. I fucking love it. I love myself a strong blacksmith girl. It is what it is. And this image! Oh my god, she's so hot. The over-the-shoulder look, I think this is unironically the hottest character in the entire game. I don't think there's a character that's hotter than her. There's just no way. There just isn't. Is there any other character that could be as hot as her? I don't think so. Like, I mean, yeah, characters like Raiden and Shogun are very attractive. But they're not like... Like, she's fucking sexy. Like, this just ain't no freaking way. Yelan? I don't think so. I think, I mean, Yelan is very attractive, but I think, like, the haircut, I think it... I, I think a lot of people don't like the haircut. I think a lot of people don't like the armpits. It is what it is. You know what I mean? But here, the haircut on point, the... The tail, mmm, the over-the-shoulder look, the yabuba, the fur jacket, the mini shorts, the ass, the thighs, even the shoes. Jesus, that shit is beautiful all across. Also, it's funny to see like all of the thunder. She looks like um, she looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> uh, she's so hot. I think, in my opinion, she's the hottest character in the game. I don't think anyone... Th some characters come close, but I don't think this has hot. Because she's beautiful and she's incredibly sexy. The mini short, I like that. Me too, with the little fur thing here too. Man, she's so fucking beautiful. Uh, so yeah, anyway, she's gonna be our next 5-star character and she's coming out in 5.0... 5.1, sorry, since we got the drip marketing. So she's gonna be here in about 7 months. And uh, she's looking real good. I need her. I just need her. I love myself a cat lady. She's a big cat lady, by the way. Uh, because she's not, strictly speaking, a cat. I think she's a leopard, probably, with the with the spot she has on her tail, specifically, and the shape of the ears. But she is looking mighty fine. I also love that she has a braid with a different color. She has, like, some pink and, and azure or turquoise color in her hair here. I think it's really beautiful. Uh, I just love it. I absolutely freaking love it i love her she's so fucking perfect so um as a geo character i really hope she changes the the, the the trend of geo characters being a little bit underwhelming i think a lot of people see geo characters and just automatically assume they're going to be useless and bad 
Um, I think this kind of changed lately. We've had some decent characters, right? I mean, Navia is very, very, very good. Uh, I really wish that Geo was kind of the level of animal characters where they like amplify other elemental reaction. I feel like Geo is a little bit weak. Like, who cares about crystallization? It's just not that good. So I kind of want Geo to get a buff. I kind of want Geo characters to be good. That said, having tried very quickly, um, what's the name? Kachina. I think Kachina is pretty good. Chiro and at least two. Yeah, I think a lot of people think that Chiro is pretty bad. Not gonna lie. Like, Chiro is, uh, Chiro is pretty good, in my opinion. She's like, a, she's a straight up better albedo. Um, I think she's pretty good. I think a lot of people also got jaded by the fact that uh, she's, uh, like, it feels like you need to get, like, her constellation one or two. I don't remember which one allows you to use the thing, even if there's no constructions. Anyway, so I really hope that Chilona is gonna be actually pretty good. I don't know what she could be. I feel like she could... I feel like, because of how she looks, like, she could be the apex predator, you know what I mean? With the look she has, and she could be, like, a main DPS. But also with the idea that she's a blacksmith, I could see her being a support, right? Because a blacksmith creates the weapon for the person, so she supports the warrior. So I could maybe see her being like a a buffer to her other teammates. Maybe I feel like it would be nice to she could be like a Geo Bennett, you know what I mean? Not necessarily a healer. I mean she could be a heal she could literally be a geo healer, actually. Like, maybe she can shield and, like, buff damage, or she can heal and buff damage. I think she could actually fit that role. I, I don't think we really have uh, that. I mean, we do have... We have Goro, right? But he only works... It would be nice to have a Goro that just works for any element rather than only Geo. So I feel like she might... We need a Geo character that works with the other elements. And maybe it doesn't come from the reaction itself, because it doesn't seem like we're getting any changes when it comes to the Geode reaction. But maybe we get a Geo characters that function with other elements, and I think that would be fantastic. So I really hope she would do that. Now in terms of weapon, it's a bit hard to say, because we don't really have any information here. I feel like with a build, she could definitely be a Claymore user, right? But I feel like we're getting too many. Mavurika is gonna be one, Kinnick is one. So maybe she's not a Claymore user. Uh, I could see her being maybe a sword user or a polearm. Although I feel like we have a lot of polearm user in Geo, right? Um, or like, sufficiently enough. Do we have... I mean, that said, we have like... We already have two sword user in Geo, five stars, right? Um, maybe a polar. I mean, she could be a bow user. I don't know, I feel like she wouldn't be a bow user. What do we have? Uh, I think Chaska is a bow user. Kinnick is going to be Claymore. Muralani is a um, Catalyst. We don't have a sword user right now in uh, Natland. Uh, she could be a sword user, even that if that means we get another Geo sword user. I could see that. I could see her being a sword user, a uh, buffer, healer, five-star Geo character. I would love that. I would love that. If, if she can function as kind of an animal character, but as Geo, that would be fantastic. Now, I think we have another little picture here. Uh, hey there, Gilolan. So about the sunglasses you made me last time, got a couple of details I like to adjust, especially with the temple tea patterning. Mm -hmm. Where'd she go? It's not even time for her lunch break yet. Hey, Gilolan, you there? Come on, let's go over the particulars of the glasses manufacturing process again. This exclaim my week at a high volume in front of Gilolan's workshop. <laughs> so she does make the glasses for my week, that's funny. Uh, Gilonen, Art and Flames, Forge of Soul, Nats, Kyan, Smith, Vision, Geo, Constellation, Panthera, Ocelota. So she is a panther. And she is looking mighty freaking fine. Yeah, I love her. I think this is all we have right now. So yeah, I'm fully speculating what she can do. And uh, I hope she's gonna be fantastic, as fantastic as she is looking. I'm incredibly excited for her. She's gonna be my next to pull for. I really want Wu Lenny, but I'm definitely like, if I had to spend to get her, I will spend to get her. Because she's insanely good looking. I've been in love with her since we saw the first like teaser where she appeared like all sleepy and shit. And um, that's not gonna change. Anyway, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're gonna be pulling for her. What do you think she's gonna be? What kind of weapon she's gonna use? What is she gonna be able to do? In the comments and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!